How are you guys doing today? This is Derek House with DHFDNS.com and today we're going to make a bodybuilding meatloaf. Now the reason why I call it a bodybuilding meatloaf is simply because it's healthy. So let me show you guys how to make it. The first thing we're going to do is season our meat. You can either use lean ground turkey or lean ground beef in this recipe. As you can see, I'm using 93% lean. Take out a large mixing bowl and we're going to put a pound and a half or 24 ounces of lean ground beef or lean ground turkey into it. If you want to make this recipe bigger, for example, if you're going to eat it all week long, then just go ahead and double all the ingredients I'm putting in. So you would use three pounds of meat instead of a pound and a half. One large whole egg. One large egg white. one-fourth a teaspoon of salt, or one quarter, whatever you call it, one cup or 90 grams of whole wheat breadcrumbs. Now you can either use regular or seasoned like I'm using. I prefer using the seasoned ones. Two tablespoons of basil. You can either use freeze-dried like I'm using or fresh. Two tablespoons of parsley. And here, freeze-dried or fresh is optional as well. And last, before we mix it, three tablespoons or 15 grams of Parmesan and Romano grated cheese. Wash one hand, and we're just gonna mix all of our ingredients together with that. For the last part of this recipe, you're gonna need some olive oil, a yellow onion, a green pepper, and some minced garlic or fresh garlic, whatever you have. We're only going to use half an onion, so just chop that up now. However big or small you chop the onion is up to you. Now just put the onion off to the side. Next, we're going to put three cloves of garlic on top of our onion mix. As you see, I'm using minced garlic since I don't have fresh garlic on hand. A teaspoon and a half of that is equal to three cloves. Go ahead and chop up your green pepper. And finally, take your green pepper and put it on top of your onion mix. All we're going to do with this now is cook it on top of the stove for around 10 minutes with some olive oil in it. Take out a pan, put your burner on medium, and put one tablespoon of olive oil in it. Once it heats up a bit, we're going to put our onion mix into the pan and cook it for around 10 minutes, occasionally stirring it. Once it starts to brown a bit, it's done. Preheat your oven on 350 now, and we're gonna take our onion mix and put it into our meat mix. Once it cools off a bit, we're gonna mix it again with our hand. Just mix it all together now. After it's all mixed together, take out a bread dish, and we're gonna put our mix into that. Just press it down and shape it into the bread dish. In the final step, we're going to take an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce and put it on top of our meatloaf. So as you guys see, I'm using the no salt added one to cut down on the sodium in this recipe. However, if you're not worried about your sodium intake, you could get roasted garlic or any of the other flavors that they have. Once your oven is done preheating, we're going to cook it on 350 for around 45 minutes to an hour. So it's been around 50 minutes and it does look done. So we're just going to take it out and let it cool now. And there is your bodybuilding meatloaf. The meatloaf's done. Now I'm just going to try it for you guys. Mm. I cannot tell you guys how amazing this tastes. The onions, garlic, green pepper, breadcrumbs, the sauce, everything hits you at once. And it's really like moist, not dry at all. Delicious. It's one of the few recipes that I could eat every single day and not get sick of. 
Alright guys, I just want to thank you for watching. If you liked my bodybuilding meatloaf, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep making these. If you aren't already subscribed, on the screen coming up, you can do so by clicking right there. And by subscribing, you'll get an email every week telling you I uploaded a new video. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Alright guys, I got some meatloaf to eat. Stay healthy.